Hello everyone, so I recently turned 20 on October 25th and I thought that it'd be very fun to talk about 20 things that I've learned in 20 years. Before I get into everything, I'm going to have a couple of disclaimers. If you guys want to skip right over those, I will have timestamps on the description to where you can do so. I'm also going to timestamp the whole video, so if you want to skip around, you can do so. Number one, this is just my opinion. You disagree with me, that is okay. I'd like to hear your takes down below in the comments. These are in no order. I'm reading off of my phone. If you want to see more birthday content, I'm going to be making a video on my second channel about how I feel about turning 20 and that type of stuff, which should be out the day after this video and now let's get into it number one details matter even little ones trust me i notice when someone takes a couple extra seconds out of the day to do something that's just going to make my entire day it makes such a difference and just be aware of that and sometimes you may not think that people notice but they do notice the way that you speak to people the way that you do things for people all of it translates over the little details matter secondly think before you speak pretty self-explanatory thirdly Actions are more important than words. Someone can tell you all day that they're going to do something, that they're going to change. But at the end of the day, if they don't do it, then that is useless. They're just all talk and no action. And I do not like people like that. You do not need people in your life who are like that. That is very, very draining. Number four, do not hang around people who do not respect you or your time. Don't hang around somebody who is always just being rude to you, who is not making you feel like you are good enough. That is someone you don't need around. You need to be around people who are going to build you up, people who make you want to be a better person in general. And yeah, I hate whenever people do not respect my time. That is a huge pet peeve for me because my time is very important to me. Your time is not more important than my time. It never is. Everyone's time is equally important. If we're hanging out and you're three hours late, you don't give me an explanation and you're rude about it. I can guarantee you I'm never going to hang out with you again because that just shows me that you didn't respect my time and I do not play like that at all and I understand that things can happen there can be family events that can happen there can be traffic there can be all these things communicate with someone of course and just be aware of people time also people who do not respect your boundaries are people you do not need in your life just be around people who are going to help you grow as a human being Number five is going to be don't be afraid to ask for help. There's definitely times where I didn't ask for help because I felt like I was going to look stupid and I struggled as a result. Please ask for help. Now on to number six, which is going to be mental health is important. Please do not neglect it. I know men in general get told that they just need to suck it up and everything. And that is not cool at all. Everyone's mental health is important. Please go see a therapist if you can. If you cannot go see one, please talk to a friend. Even just venting and getting the feelings out if you can't necessarily get advice is going to help you tremendously. So please ask for help in that regard mental health is extremely extremely important and now we're on to number seven trust your gut if you feel like something is going to be a good decision for you if something's going to be a bad decision just go accordingly with that a lot of times people look back and are like wow i had a certain feeling that i didn't want to go through with this and then they end up making a mistake and regretting it so trust your gut and now we're on to number eight, which is going to be after you eat at a restaurant, make sure that you organize the table as much as you can, you know, stack plates, have it as clean as you can. That way, whenever they come to clean it up, it is so much easier. Trust me, they're going to be thankful. Number nine, always tip 20%. If you feel like the service was excellent, tip more. Number 10, we're halfway. Make an effort to hear people out even if you disagree with them. Trust me, it's going to help you grow as a person. Sometimes people tell me things I don't want to hear and it sucks, but I'd rather have someone tell me the truth than to just sugarcoat something. It's going to help you grow as a person. And when you're just in an echo chamber, it's not helping you see all the different points of view and just being a better person in general. On to number 11, think carefully about each decision you make. I don't mean agonize over every small decision like cheating from the good place, but especially about the big decisions, think about those. But just take one minute to think about something because a lot of people I'm sure can say, if they just took one minute to think about something, they wouldn't have done it. One minute can change your life. Number 12, put yourself out there. I know that it can be challenging. Trust me, I'm a shy person. I hate putting myself out there and meeting new people, but doing it has really helped me. It helps you build confidence. It helps you build connections. It helps you make friends. It just helps you be better as a person. So definitely do that. Being by yourself all day is not gonna help you. Number 13, everyone's opinion does not matter. No matter what you do, there's always gonna be people who hate on you and you can't spend all day agonizing over it. Find your circle, find people who you can consult with about certain decisions and find what the right move is with you. And also just go with your intuition. Do not listen about what everyone has to say about every decision because you're gonna be miserable and you're not gonna be doing what you truly wanna do because you're scared of what people think. And a lot of times people don't even care what you're doing anyways. They're really concerned with themselves. Number 14, try to see the silver linings and things. This one is something that I've definitely been trying to do more lately. I have been through certain situations that were tough and I've gone through them. So my phrase now is we move. No matter what happens to me, we move on and things are just gonna improve in your life. So even if something bad happens, just try and think about how can I use the situation to teach me something? How can I grow from this? 
Number 15, always have a rainy day fund. You never know what can happen. Your car can break down. You can need food. This whole corona thing has happened. It's always good to have a rainy day fund. 16, this one goes hand in hand. Prepare it any way that you can in case an inconvenience come up. Whether that's practicing your presentation, having an extra set of clothes, having a rainy day fund like we just discussed. All of these things are just going to help you have a lot less anxiety about certain situations. And being prepared always helps you. Number 17, I have found that music is really healing for me. There's a song for pretty much anybody about any situation, and I just love music so much, and it's really fundamental to, I think, who I am as a person. Number 18, find hobbies that you enjoy and make an effort to engage in them each week. I have definitely gotten in situations where I didn't have work-life balance and that really, really sucks. So what I had to start doing was making time to do things that I enjoy. I like to play guitar, I like to watch YouTube videos, I like to make my YouTube videos, that type of thing. Just this world is miserable enough already and you just need to have things that you can enjoy and just make you feel happy for a minute. Those are really important and they're just gonna help you so much as a person, balance is key. Number 19, do not worry about things that you cannot control, it won't help you. Number 20, and the last one, be aware of your surroundings and who you trust, pretty self-explanatory. And that is going to be it for this video. I actually did wear my hair down for this video because I never do that for my videos. It's been years since I've done it. And I just kind of felt like it. I'm also wearing my new Taylor Swift shirt. Uh, this is the song seven. It says, are there still beautiful things? Love it, first time I wore it. And, um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a like right down below. That helps me out a lot. You can also hit the red subscribe button right down below. And if you have the bell next to that, you get a notification to your phone. And also, if you wanted to see more birthday content, like I said, my second channel is the first thing down in the description. I also have a Twitter and an Instagram as well, which you guys can check out me out on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please vote in the selection if you have not already. And I'll see you in my next one.